Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I do my mini twists as a protective style on my 4C hair. So as you can see, I already started. Basically, I'm pretty much done. Here in the front, what you see is like basically a little two-strand twist crown in the front because you all know the front part of my hair is a little bit shorter. So while it's growing in, I'm going to be really protecting and making sure it's not in the way or you know it's not really get interrupted so it can help with the growth so i just two strand twist in the front and then i did a little flat twist crown around um if you want to see how i did that let me know and when i come to you to do an update i'll show you how i did the front so i left this part out just to show you all exactly what do i do um this is like the side of the back here So these are the products I'm using, Sultanicals, um, Hair Swirl, Napalicious King Drink. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I wish I could have ordered a big tub for her sale, but there'll be time. There'll be time. Um, the Sultanicals Fluffalicious Curl Nutritious. And I ordered the big size. I didn't know if I would like it. I should just order the small size because y'all know I always tell y'all that nothing compares to my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And nothing does, at least for moisture. And then I have the omelet and olive heavy cream castor oil. I always try to use something really heavy in the winter to seal my hair in because it's really cold outside. So yeah, I know I have my little brush. And I know one of my subscribers asked me to do a video showing how I detangle my hair. So I will make a separate video for this coming up soon. Probably once I take these out. So what I do is I go ahead and I use this to refresh my hair with. And then I get like a separate piece of hair. And I want them kind of like small, medium. Like the, the back and everything, I did more like a medium size. You know, just to help me get it over with. But the front, I want it to be a little smaller. I'll just take the rest of it and clamp it away. Then I put my moisturizer on there first. And I go from tips to the root. Or you can go from root to tip, whichever one you want to do. You want to go ahead and tangle that little section. And so what I do is, so I don't actually get a lot of shrinkage as much. It's still going to shrink, but not as much. I go ahead and I braid the very top part of my hair. And then like a little bit down. Then I just grab the pieces and I, I join them together. And then I start to two strand twists. And so this is basically much what you left with. And it is going to shrink, but it's all good.
And so everything is really much moisturized. Um, I don't see myself having to moisturize hopefully for like another two or three days. And I'm going to try to keep these in for about until the beginning of February. I don't know if that's going to last that long, but I'm going to try. Um, and I'll be having my little silk bonnet one under this with my wigs. That's pretty much what I do. Um, I will be coming to you all with a more in-depth tutorial of how I keep my hair. How I take care of my hair under my wigs because someone did request for me to do a video on that. So that will be coming to you all soon. But yeah, uh, the reason why, again, I wanted to try many twists is because you don't have to always go out to the salons to get two strands was done with fake hair or braids or things that could easily be too heavy on your hair, too harsh on your hair. You can easily do box braids on your real hair or mini twists on your real hair. And yeah, they might not look as professional depending on how you do your, your, your parts and everything. But, you know, it's all good. So, yeah, like I said, I pretty much been planning to have these in for about almost a month. And I'm going to be moisturizing them. I won't be washing my hair. I know some people wash their hair with their mini twists, them, but I don't, I don't think I'll be doing that. I just will, you know, try not to use as much product in my hair. Because the more build up, then that's when you need to wash your hair. But yeah, I do like the idea of braiding the the very beginning and then going into a twist again because it helps to stretch the hair so it won't shrink as much. My hair is shrunken, but it's not too, too bad. And the best way to keep it from shrinking up also is not doing it on really damp hair. Like as soon as you get off the shower and you do many twists on wet, wet hair, then your hair might shrink all the way up to here. <laughs> but if you wait for a few days and then let it dry, it won't be so bad. So... Yeah, that's really about it. Uh, I might go ahead and do like a little halo thing all around my hair. Like take this and just, you know, do like little flat twists. And I might come to you all with a tutorial once I try out a few little styles and show you how you can style your mini twists if you're interested in that, seeing how to style mini twists. Then let me know in the comment section below and I'll put that video out for you guys. So I hope you like this tutorial and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you on the next one. Bye.